how long is still socialized healthcare? Would you still do full-time content? Full-time company work. I actually still would, even if it wasn't like a healthcare issue. The reason being, um, I like my income being stable. Why did I choose to go into full-time employment with a company rather than sticking with like the full-time content creation that I was doing? And I have a number of reasons as to why I chose to go down the other path. So the backstory to my content creation is I graduated from UC Berkeley May 2021 with a bio degree. The moment I graduated, I immediately went into full-time streaming and I full-time streamed for a year. So it, it, it is pretty much a year to date, um, all, a couple weeks apart of me full-time streaming, being a full-time content creator. And I've been really transparent with my finances, so you guys know how much I make. I actually, as a full-time content creator, currently with where my income is projected, will make more than what I will get paid as a full-time employee. So it's if I were to swap from my content creation to full-time employment, I am actually taking a pay cut to do so. There's a couple of reasons as to why I wanted to go down a traditional employment path rather than continuing full-time content creation. So, and I will still be content creating, just not full-time, full-time. Couple of reasons. One, um, having stable income is very nice. I am very transparent with my finances again, and I've told you guys how much I've earned. My income fluctuates within the last year. It has fluctuated between $2,000 and $8,500 from content creation alone. Having your income fluctuate, like within a discrepancy of $6,000, is very scary and again i'm not trying to sound ungrateful and be like oh yeah like look at look at um uh, i make eight thousand dollars a month content creating god this sucks like da, 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 da. i'm super grateful for making how much money i earn as a content creator i'm very grateful for doing this i love my job that being said i can't make the life choices that i want to make with income that fluctuate this much i want to move out like i don't want to live in my parents house forever okay i'm in my 20s i want to live my life i want to move out. I want to make a financial investment into down the line owning a property. I want to buy a house and I can't do that with my income. So there's a lot of reasons as to why it's like this. <gasps> Hi, Heather. Heather, how are you? Heather, I'm talking about I'm talking about my life choices right now <sighs> and why I like went with full-time um, employment rather than content creating. But yeah, so down the line, like I want to own a house, okay? Like I want to buy my own car. I don't have a car. Like I want to buy my own car. I want to buy a house. To get a loan, you need to show the bank proof of employment. You need to show them that you can make the monthly payments for the loan. Otherwise, you don't qualify for a loan. So my credit score is decent. I It's on the lower end. It's lower than what I want it to be but it's because i haven't had a credit card for very long i opened up a credit card when i was 18 i'm currently 21 so i've had a credit card for like three years going on four and so my credit score is about 690 i wish i was joking but it's about 690 uh, or 710 it's somewhere between the two so my credit score is on the slightly lower side for qualifying for a loan i will still qualify but um with my credit score but my income doesn't qualify and it doesn't matter. I can't just pull up to the bank and be like, hey, look, I, I, I make like six to eight K per month of content creation because the bank is going to be like, OK, provide me with um, pay stubs, provide me with bank statements showing that you consistently make X amount of income. I cannot show that because content creation income fluctuates too much. I don't have a salary, which is what the bank looks for. So I will not qualify for a loan to get a car. I won't qualify for a loan to get a house because of my income. Because even though I do theoretically make enough to pay, I don't know, a down payment for and the mortgage for a cheap house, which is a joke because I live in California. But theoretically, I do. Right. If a house was like, I don't know, three hundred eighty thousand dollars, I could buy it and pay the mortgage for it and I'll be fine. I make enough for that. However, I won't even qualify for the loan in the first place because of my because of my income. It is not a salary. Oh, and by the way, banks want to see like. Banks want to see you have a salary for X amount of time. Generally, it's like uh, I'm not very well versed in like home buying stuff like that, but it's like a year or two, at least like six months of stable salary that you can show the bank to qualify for a loan. I can't show them that. What am I going to do? Pull up my sponsorship money and be like, hey, this company paid me three thousand dollars for the sponsorship. And then the bank's going to be like, cool. Uh, did they pay you every single month? And I'm going to be like, nope. But this other company paid me a thousand dollars and the bank's going to be like, it's too inconsistent. Will not qualify. 
So the life choices that I want to make cannot happen because my income is too inconsistent. So having consistent income, super nice. I want, I wanted to move out of my house. I want to get an apartment. I wanted to move to LA. And I've mentioned this on stream many times. I want to move to LA. I didn't feel comfortable moving someplace when I cannot guarantee that I will make the rent money every single month. If you have a full-time job, you have a salary. Even if you work hourly, you know that if you work X amount of hours, you will get paid this amount of money. I am salary paid. So if every single month I can guarantee I will get paid this much with my full-time employment. So every single month I can guarantee that I will make more money than my rent. With content creation, I cannot guarantee it. If I get sick, if I get COVID, um, I don't know, family emergency happens, I'm screwed, I don't get paid. And then if I don't get paid, I can't pay my rent and then now I'm screwed. That's another problem. So I didn't feel comfortable signing myself up for thousands of dollars pay paying rent every single month when I can't guarantee that I will make that much in that month. Being a full-time content creator is very glorified and I love, again, doing what I do, but there are a lot of other strings attached to this job. Another thing, no health insurance. So I don't have health insurance. I don't have dental. I don't have whatever, optical, none of that stuff. I'm fine for now because I am under 26. So if you're 26 or under in the US, you can be covered by your parents' health insurance if they are working adults. So uh, my mom is working, so I am under her health insurance. And I'm covered till I'm 26, technically. However, again, I don't want to put that burden on my parents because my mom's going to retire soon. And then if she retires, where am I getting health insurance from? I don't, I don't know anymore, right? I need my own health insurance. So as a full-time content creator, whatever, you don't get health insurance. And then taxes as well. Your taxes are really high. You get um, tax basically double because if you work for a company, you get taxed X amounts in a tax bracket but your company pays taxes on you as well, like for you. You just don't see it, but they do. So the employer covers X amount of your taxes and you cover the rest, right? As a self-employed person, because if you're a content creator, you're self-employed, you pay the taxes for both yourself as your own employee and for yourself as the employer. So your taxes are basically doubled. So last year, full transparency, I made $48,000 as a full-time content creator. That was my taxable income for that year. And again, I worked, um, I only full-time streamed for half the year last year. So that's like uh, where the income, whatever, the breakdown, right? I paid $10,000 in taxes last year. Also, I live in California, so I also pay a state income tax. So my federal tax in income tax was $9,000. My state income tax was about $1,000. I had to pay a lot in taxes. You get screwed over with taxes. So even though I make six to eight K per month as a full-time content creator, I take home, if we were being realistic with medical stuff like that, less than half of it, less than half of it, I get to I get to actually pocket. Whereas if I were to work for a company and earn the same amount of money, I got to take home more because I pay less in taxes My medical health insurance, all of that is covered. All that stuff is good. So those are some other problems that comes with being a self-employed full-time content creator and streamer.